Hi guys and girls, welcome back to another video and welcome back to my channel, Life and Literature. Today I'm going to review in Sophie Kinsella, Finding Audrey. If it's something you'd be interested in, then please keep on watching. Audrey can't leave her house. She can't even take off her dark glasses inside the house. Then her brother's friend, Linus, I think it's Linus or Linus, but I'm going to say Linus, stumbles into her life with his friendly orange slice smile and his funny notes he starts to entice Audrey out again well Starbucks is a start and with Linus at her side Audrey feels like she can do anything she thought were too scary suddenly find her way back to the real world seems achievable be prepared to laugh dream and hope with Audrey as she learns that even when you think you have lost yourself love can still find you finding Audrey I came across this book um, when I was out because it's quite an eye-catching book compared to some. The kind of shininess of little Audrey here. She's designed like this and detailed like this in the, in the book. She's a young girl, brown hair, and she keeps these black dark glasses on throughout. Now Audrey as a character through the book is dealing with severe anxiety. Now it doesn't literate at the beginning what the anxiety or how it has stemmed into her life but throughout the book we have help and support from her family. She also has a video camera documentary that she's doing about her life. It's her therapy in a way and it's what she does to kind of focus her energy into something now she never films herself she never sits like this in front of a camera and then talks she kind of films what's going on in her life her family film as well um to kind of keep her mind active it's her it's her little outlet i would say now in the book she has a brother frank and typical kind of brother sister relationship but it's very loving and he is very understanding and very attentive to what what his sister needs and the the emotions she's going through but when when he brings a friend over um Linus he stumbles into the I think it's like a video kind of cinema room that Audrey is in and he strikes up a conversation with her which for Audrey that is a lot to handle she hasn't really from the sounds of it had any connection or really any interaction with anyone outside of her family and people that she really strongly trusts so Linus coming in and with this as she says orange slice smile is just taken away by this amazing guy that just really encourages her slowly and surely to open up and talk to him and even just have just a general conversation and throughout the book it grows her confidence in a way their their friendship is quite beautiful obviously there is an element of romance they do like each other but he is being there for a friend and making sure that she's she's taking the steps she needs to but doing it by a gentle push he's not forcing her he's not telling her this is what you need to do and neither of her family no one is pushing her her mum works from home or I think she stopped working and spends her time making sure her daughter is okay. This book is a huge, heartwarming, family orientated story of a young girl going through a really hard time and her family pulling together to make sure she's okay and that she is surrounded by love and kind of empowerment. The, the little steps that she does take, even when she takes steps back, just show that her family will will be there for her she also does have a doctor and her doctor as well as Linus uh, helping her to take the necessary steps to get back into some kind of normality she needs to get into 
a, a little bit of scary territory by trying to go out and do things she hasn't done before and as it says Starbucks is the start and that is how she learns to start going out talking to people that she's never talked to before whether it's just asking them a very simple question or ordering a coffee because something that may seem very simplistic and natural to some people when you go through something like anxiety and she has a very f serious and quite severe case of anxiety the the things that are meant to come so maybe natural to some people become even more foreign yeah. and I'm sure as well as a lot of people have dealt with anxiety um, in many different forms that this book is so beautifully written and it really is a it's a really lovely heartwarming story and they don't well they Sophie Kinsella doesn't hide or shy away from the fact that the reality can be really dark at times and that it's okay and as long as you've got some people you can rely on some people that love you whether you feel like that all the time they will be the ones that will pick you up when you've not done as well as you feel like you need to and they kind of show you that it's not always needed sometimes you can just have days um, and you don't have to push yourself if it's really not something you're comfortable with so even though it's a very slow paced book she is being really happy with her progress um, and she's never made or makes the reader feel like she's not doing enough you're not sitting there reading the book questioning why she's not taking the next step and why she needs to push herself even more you're happy that it's quite a comfortable realistic growth in a book and I thought the portrayal of anxiety um, through Audrey and the, the simplicity in the image of the idea that she's walking around dark glasses because she is so scared and can't look at people in the eye and can't be seen to be looking at anyone is quite a very creative way and a very constant of how someone's life can be affected by the anxiety they have within them so I think Sophie Kinsella really brought out this book of a uh, character Audrey so realistic and approachable and relatable so I think this is a lovely very heartwarming book there are twists and turns as there are to any book there are character developments and there is this element of how has she got this way and will she get better and throughout you're hoping that she does and you're really rooting for Audrey as a character so this is a lovely book I think you should read it I think everyone should if you do have if you do have your own personal issues with anxiety and you find anxiety um, written in a book a trigger then maybe this isn't the book for you but I think definitely you should give it a try and you should try and read it because it really is a breathtaking page turner of a book that I really had quite a lovely read of so I hope you enjoyed this video if you saw anything different or if you had any ideas about the book then please comment down below I love to see other people's ideas of what they thought about the books or whether they're excited to read it too maybe but as I always say like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon in the next one bye